my operation's all finished and I feel great. I can't wait to tell my friends all about it. Chelsea is just one of over 1,500 children who come to Royal Victoria Hospital for surgery every year. This is a new state-of-the-art facility, and because Barrie is such a growing community, RVH specializes in the health care needs of young families. Your mom and dad or guardian will bring you to the hospital a few hours before your operation. Most people arrive at RVH through the main doors, which is actually level two. From there, it's a short walk to surgical services. Chelsea is going to have her tonsils out today. In order to register you, the clerk has to ask a lot of questions. When that's done, you'll wait in this room until someone calls your name. I got to keep my own teddy bear and wear my own socks. But I didn't get to wear my own pajamas. Hi, Chelsea. My name is Mary, and I'm the nurse who's going to get you ready for Dr. Heckenberg today. We'll just leave your clothes right here, and then after your surgery's all over, we'll bring them out to you. So, you have all your jewelry off? Yep. Okay, and is your bear coming with you? Yep. Great. And we'll just go on out here, and uh, we'll get you all ready. Why do patients have to wear hospital clothes? Everyone has to wear hospital clothes because there are little germs that are everywhere and you touch them, they're on your clothes. So everyone that goes into the operating room has to wear hospital clothes because the operating room is a sterile environment which means it's very clean and germ free. Great. This is your hospital armband. It tells us how to spell your name, how old you are, and what day you were born. Chelsea, when was the last time you had anything to eat? Um, before I went to bed. Okay, Chelsea, this just takes your temperature. I'm just going to slip this right in your ear. Promise it doesn't hurt. This just slips onto your finger, and it tells me about your breathing. Okay, Chelsea, I'm just going to listen to your heart here for a minute. I'm going to fill it up with air, and it's just going to get a little bit tight on your arm. But it doesn't hurt, okay? Sometimes this part can take a while. But it's very important that doctors and nurses looking after you have this information and learn all they can about you. Good. And it's also important that you and your parents understand everything about your operation too. Why is a patient not to eat or drink before an operation? No one should have anything to eat or drink before an operation because the nurses and the doctors are going to give you medication to help you sleep and to help you not be sore. And sometimes these medications can make your stomach feel upset. So if you have an empty stomach, the chances are less that you're going to feel sick afterwards. They put some cream on my hands so my skin will go to sleep. This is a special bandage that just goes right over top. Okay? You know it looks kind of neat and it's pretty strong. Try not to play with it too much or else it'll break. There you go. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No. Then it's off to another waiting room with all the other people who are going to have an operation today. Your parents or guardian will be there too. And while you wait, you can read a book, watch TV, or play with some of the toys. Chelsea, the doctor's ready to see you. Pretty soon, it's your turn and your mom or dad will be right with you. I'm Dr. Murray, I'm one of the anesthesiologists, and this is Tracy, one of the nurses who will be in the room today. I just need to ask a couple of questions before... You know what you'll do a lot of when you come to the hospital for an operation? You you'll an sit operation in a before? lot of waiting rooms, and you'll answer a lot of questions. Do you have any loose teeth? Yep, let's see your teeth. Can you open your mouth nice and wide? Uh, why do they ask so many questions and the same ones over and over? Sometimes when you come into the hospital you might be a little bit nervous and you might forget to tell us something important so uh, after you've heard the questions and you have the chance to think about them for a minute you might want to add some more the next time the next person asks you questions. Your mom or dad have stayed with you most of the time but they can't go into the operating room. Your teddy bear or other special toy can stay with you though and your parents aren't far away and they'll be back soon right after you wake up. That's a girl. That a girl. Now All you need right. to get you to lie down with your head on the pillow. Okay. Just like that. Push your hair. Wrap you up in some blankets. I'm almost ready for my operation and look, Teddy's still with me. Chelsea, I'm just going to put a seatbelt on here to keep you safe on this table, okay? 
Just to remind you not to wiggle mm -hmm. around. I'm gonna put that on your finger, just like that. And that's gonna give us how much oxygen you've got. You're gonna hear that beeping too. I'm gonna get you to slip your sleeve out loud and we're gonna just put a blood pressure cuff on your arm just to measure your blood pressure while you're laying here, okay? Yeah. You're just gonna feel a squeeze when it goes up and then it's gonna come down in a second. Alrighty? And we're just gonna tuck it in there, love. There you go. Okay, so Chelsea, to get you off to sleep, we're gonna use the mask just like you want it. I want to show you this little thing here. It's like a black balloon. We're gonna get you to blow up that balloon. You think you can do that? Okay, there's the mask. I want you to take a big breath in and blow it all out. You aren't going to be awake for your operation, and there are two ways you can go to sleep. The doctor will decide which is best for you. Chelsea's going to breathe special air from this mask that will help her go to sleep. But other kids get the sleep medicine from a little needle the doctor puts in the back of their hand. There you go. Just going to rub your hand, and your skin's totally frozen, so you won't feel this, okay? But you'll feel me rubbing you. Do you have any brothers or sisters? And what are their names? Guess what? It's all finished. Did you feel anything? Nope. Good stuff. And you're going to be asleep in no time. Am I really asleep? Do I feel anything? Are you really asleep? Yes, you are definitely asleep, 100%. I give you medications either through the mask that you breathe or through the intravenous in your arm that gets you off to sleep so that you are not aware at all of the surgery. So you won't feel anything, you won't remember anything, and you'll wake up without even knowing that you had an operation. I don't remember this part, but the doctors and nurses took really good care of me. The operating room is a big room with bright lights and a lot of equipment that beeps and makes funny noises. There are quite a few medical people in here too, and they all have different jobs. But their most important job is to take very good care of you while you're asleep. Okay? One, one two, two, and three. On the side, side Good. Okay. Your operation's over, and you're just getting ready to wake up. When you wake up, you're going to be a little sore, and we're going to give you medication to make that better. Then you get a nice week off school, and we will see you back in the office in a few weeks. Right here. Most operations don't take very long, and before you know it, it's over, and you're waking up in another room. Hi, Chelsea. The mask this is Chelsea, she's 11 and she just had her tonsils up. Why is it so hard to wake up after surgery? At the end of an operation, you are awake but you're very sleepy. This is because the medications that we used haven't had a chance to wear off yet. They will wear off in a few hours, but in that time you might as well get some rest and some sleep anyways. Hi Chelsea, my name's Karen, you're back in surgical daycare. How are you feeling? Well, my throat's a little bit sore. This okay, is the well, recovery we'll room, and, we'll and a different mom. nurse will look okay. after you here. I'm just going to check you out, and then we'll let your mom come in to visit you, okay? And look who's back. Chelsea's mom. Hi, Mrs. Marshall. Hi. Chelsea's doing great. Oh, I'll that's uh, let you have a visit. Thank you. Hi, Chelsea. How are you feeling? My throat's kind of sore. You're still pretty tired? Yeah. You look good. Sure everything's okay? Just open your mouth wide. Stick your tongue out for me, honey. Now that your operation is over and you're awake, the nurse does some final checks to make sure you can sit up and go for a walk, and that you can have a drink and not feel sick. Most children go home soon after their operation, but sometimes they need to have a sleepover at the hospital, so the doctors and nurses can look after them a little while longer. Don't worry, your mom or dad get to stay over too. And there's a fun playroom right down the hall. And when it is time to go home, the nurses will tell your parents everything they need to know about looking after you until you're all better. And you'll get to ride in a wheelchair out to the front doors. It's normal to feel a little nervous or even scared when you need an operation. Everybody does, even grown-ups. But the people here at Royal Victoria Hospital are your friends, and they'll take very good care of you.